We didn't even have food yet today. And now we have to walk. You've not got enough money to pay for this. The bank's actually I mean, what are we going to do? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> Take the f***s because we're flying. Good morning. Good morning. We are Silky and Kieran and we are on our 10th year holiday trip around the world. And today we are in Laos and heading towards Lang Prabang after three weeks on the road. Woo! Wow, what a journey. Let's hit the road. Let's go. Oh yeah, we forgot all of this stuff. <laughs> Let's hit the road. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the road. Woo! And finally, on what is maybe hopefully going to be the last day of our trip, the bike is running the best it has ran since we first started. It is crazy. The mechanic. I mean, you should have seen our, our vlog from yesterday. Yesterday, Kieran was sitting on the bike on a truck driving to Just, just check it, just watch the the video it, it's so worth watching because but, he's here wow um, we did see. get to an amazing mechanic he was a great guy he fixed the bike up it was number trip number 10 to the mechanic it's wow really. 10 times <laughs> in three weeks we've been really blessed over the last couple of days with really great roads and today the roads are not so fantastic they're not the worst roads we've been on but they're just sandy and they're not the the tarmac roads unfortunately we did think last night um, that we were going to have to go via Nong Kiao. We're not sure, but on the map we see a road that cuts through Laos. So you don't need to go via Nong Kiao because that would mean us going all the way north. But um, the locals we spoke to last night seemed to say that you have to go via Nong Kiao. I don't know if it's just because the roads are terrible. But um, I guess we're up for an adventure and we're going to see. We'll ask some people along the way. See what road is going to be best for us to take these roads. Our crews are out. I'll judge it on what the local state is at that point. Wow, this is good Today is another misty day. This is last few days. Um, yeah, we, we never thought that Laos is getting really cold during December, January time. And it feels it nice if you're warm, but it's yeah, if you don't have the clothes for it then. Yeah, if you are visiting Laos in December, January time, bring bring sweaters. Be prepared because if you come into the, the highlands, and I'm sure maybe even down south, it's a little bit chillier than than usual. When did it happen? Unfortunately we lost uh the screw for the mic, so we're now looking on the ground, but uh, yeah, of course, it's very hard to find. So, after wasting half an hour looking, uh, we didn't find anything, but I did get some cable ties to hold it on, um, so which should do us for the rest of this journey. I don't know why road make it like such a tiny screw that holds on everything, and that screw, whenever it wobbles, yeah, maybe it's not meant for hardcore road trips or whatever on a bike that's straight but um, um, once that screw comes out the mic is no longer attached to the the little um, I don't know what you call that thing yeah the thing that attaches to the camera so um, unfortunately it probably does mean that we need to buy a whole new mic system or find a, a little screw but trying to find that exact little screw is going to be a, a tough job and unfortunately due to that time I don't think we're going to make it to Lang Prabang today. I think we're going to have to spend an extra day on the road just because half an hour stopping is equivalent to an hour because it could have been half an hour driving, so... Ah, shit it happens, eh? Sorry for ranting people, I was um, 
I think everything was added up. The roads were really bad. We haven't had food today because the, there was no food in the village. There was no market in the village, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, I think it was just everything adding up. And um, I just want to get back home. I'm back home to Mandela. Um, and I am unsure if we're going to make it there today. The roads are crazy. It's not that they're the worst roads, as I said last time. It's just the it's constant, blah, 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 and then one nice road, and then blah, 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 blah. Um, and I just wish that I could actually do a decent speed and get us back to Lundberg. My God, I hope we don't get a flat because these roads are just crazy. Like the road goes, and then it stops. It goes like this. 90 degrees, like up or down, and oof, uh, crazy. Oh, yep, uh, can you? King Kao? No? Or, um, what's that? No, nothing? Bo? Kim Fu? Fu? Um, Bo Kim Si, Bo Kim Pa. Yeah, uh, King J. Bomi si, bomi pa. Okay, so no breakfast. Uh, we're in the middle of nowhere. And she says like, oh yeah, there's nothing. This way, but this way we don't go, so... Um, Lang for bang? Lang for bang? Okay. Yes? Good try. I hope that this is not a sign of what's to come. Wow. So we decided to take the risk on this little road. We found some bananas for breakfast. And yeah, let's let's get to Lang for bang today. I think there's also a waterfall on this, this road. Let's see if we have to. It's also it's a long road it's just it's a main road and we already did that road hitchhiking so we thought well I thought let's see another let's see another part of last <laughs> why not we've driven most of the most of the probably yeah. we've driven probably some of the worst roads in last so what is one more worst road. bad road <laughs> to do this road trip with <laughs> we've had already 10 times uh, a breakdown where we had to go to the mechanic um, so yeah a lot of adventure with this one but it has been cool we've driven around the whole of Laos and it has been like we've had amazing experiences
This way? Yeah, messed up. I guess it's number 11 to the mechanic. Luckily, we're, we have just arrived in the little one village. Vlog, huh? What? That's a one vlog. It's gonna help me get up the hill though. I'm not. And the chain as well, huh? Yep. Whenever we do these crazy routes, just it freaks out. I honestly think we're gonna be in a big mess because I don't think we've not got enough money to pay for this. I know. Says we don't have enough money to get it fixed and sleep tonight somewhere so there's also no ATMs here because we're in little villages <sighs> I thought today we're like oh we go for some rice to Penonkiao and then they have the nice roads to Long Prabang I thought it would be an easy day but but no So if you check the map, we've barely done anything of this road. The road is very long and there is nothing here. There's no villages, no mechanics. And Kiro wants to keep on walking. I don't know what we do. Like, like walk through the mountains, sleep somewhere in the mountains tonight and have four bananas to eat each. Like there is like nothing here.
Sí, que lo... And here nobody can help, no? No. Kieran has been pushing the bike the whole way and now we still have um, three and a half hours of walk left until the next village. Um, met a nice guy from New Zealand um, that maybe can help us, maybe can here and can um, hold on to the bike and then we go to the next village. <laughs> That's so kind of you, thank you. You were close, man. You were only like 10 minutes up there. Oh. <laughs> I think you made it. Same thing in two days, in the back of the truck. Oh, Feeling so down, so defeated, and no power to go on, no matter. Wow, so close to the end of the journey, and I just think it's a huge problem with the bike, and we're in the middle of nowhere. We're on the last 300,000 of our budget, and we need to pay 80,000 at least for a place to stay, probably 60 or 70,000 for food. We haven't had proper food today. I just had beer because it was the only thing that I just needed something with energy. I don't even know if it's got any energy in it, but oh, I feel so drained. Oh my god. You can't fix here? Cannot. No. So you want to take it going back then? About two hours by, by car. 47 kilometers. I don't know. Oh, 30, 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers to Pakistan. How much? You want to know? Kilometers. So what he say about one million K? I said true suspense, but he says custody suspense. Well, we have 250,000 left for something, for food. For a mechanic, for everything. 250,000 left for everything. We have 250,000 until one club on. Nice. We walk, yeah, we walk, yeah. <laughs> One hour drive, over a hundred dollars to get us a bit further, 30 kilometers. My god, people are here. Because we're full on. We have 250,000 left for sleeping, for eating. We didn't even have food yet today. And now we have to walk. I honestly don't know what we're doing because we do, I don't think we have enough money to pay for the bike to be fixed, let alone have food and accommodation for one extra day before getting to Langfobang. I, I, I don't know what our goal is here today. 
I doubt there'll be an ATM anywhere. Five minutes or something? I'm so ready for no adventure. I'm so ready to be somewhere for a month. Have some good food. And this is the thing you often like people say, oh dream life, like you're living my dream life. And yeah, it might seem that it might seem that it's a dream life, but it's very hard, like it's really hard sometimes. two hours away from Langpabang and the only reason we got here was because of the truck and he dropped us off. The mechanic has just gone to see if he can find a new clutch um, because everyone snapped. But um, yeah, looks like we're going to be, I've got an audience here. <laughs> but we're going to try and make it to Langpabang tonight but it's already 4.30 so with it being over two hours drive, we probably won't make it there tonight, but um, Silk is going to get food and let's just see. I am so, I'm feeling a little bit better, but today's broken me. My body's in pain, everything's just wah. So let's see what we can do. And um, that was the guys who brought us here. But um, yeah, let's see what we can do and see when we get to Langkabang. <laughs> From one piece of bad news to the next, he says that um, he's not going to fix it, so we're going to have to get to Langkabang. And uh, we have no clue how to get there, it's about 17 hours walk. Um, we're not going to be able to drive it, the bike won't go anywhere. So, um, so we came back with some food, so that's one good thing. I'm going to go see if we can get some food and then, I don't know, let's see if we can get to Langkabang. Vegetarian, like bokim si, bokim pa, yeah, yeah, pug, and it's fish. So yeah, I'm going to bring it back. Okay. So it turns out it was vegetarian, and um, it's not the tastiest thing I've ever eaten, but it's the first food, proper food we've had today, so it'll do. 5 p.m. So yeah, he couldn't help us, um, he couldn't fix it. Um, and he said like, I can bring you to Long Prabang, which is now and a half away from here. But he's asking 320,000 kip just to bring us and we only have 200,000 left. So yeah, and we still have to get sleeping. So it's just not possible, we cannot do it. There's no ATM here, so. <coughs> Same points in the day. Mm -hmm. 
It was the toughest day, I think, of our honeymoon. Yeah, that's what it's like. Easily, actually. I'm, I'm in so much physical pain, like my hands, my body from holding the bike up. And it just really took it out of me. I was really, I uh, wanted to give up so much. And, you know, I'm still really, I had a bit of a breakdown about what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to making our way towards Lankoban. Because it's going to be on the yeah, road. Yeah, and because the bike is not fixed, he cannot fix it. So it would be 16 hours walk to Long Prabang, which we probably will not do. He said, okay, I can bring you to Long Prabang with the car, which is 320,000. We have... This is 500, this is nothing. This doesn't, the, like the lowest denomination anything. of anything is 1,000. So this is like a little novelty thing. And last, we have... 200, 200,000 left to get um, to Lankaban and to get the bike fixed and wow. Yeah, we don't know guys, it was a, uh, so sorry, but this was the most negative vlog we've yeah, ever posted. But I ended on a positive because Soka went out while I showered and got some cake oh, and made some coffee. And I feel more positive now. Soka gave me a pep talk and made me feel better. And, yeah. I think it's when you feel emotional, like that we got into kind of a fight because we were like, yeah, uh, and I was just, yeah, I'm just trying to power on and get the bike there or hold the bike up on the thing, and and it was just so hard. It was it was not silk at all. It was just angry at the journey, angry at the bike, and it was stupid now looking at it. But the thing is, we're here. We have a nice guest house. We're chilling out, and yeah. We'll have an early night and tomorrow we'll have the same story again. Well, not hopefully the same. No, no, not the same story. But tomorrow is, we're going to make it to Langkorban. So tomorrow will officially be the last part of this vlog. Maybe. <laughs> um, and it'll probably be a good one. So guys, get ready for that. Um, it'll be coming soon. And if you kind of, anyway, like this vlog. Or if you just want to show us some support. <laughs> please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And we will see you yeah, for the next one, for the last part. And yeah, over and out guys.